I'll be showing you how to set up a customer thank you flow in Klaviyo step by step. So make sure you stay until the end of the video here. If you don't have it installed already, you can find it on the Shopify app store and there is a free plan available. Make sure you have it installed so you can follow along step by step. Now, I don't have any affiliation with Klaviyo, however, I have used it in the past. So once you have the app installed, let's head into flows in the left hand side menu here. This will allow us to set up the customer thank you flow. Now you should have an ideas tab to show you different templates, but if you don't, let's go into create flow and we can search for customer thank you here. It's a pre-built flow once you have the Shopify app installed. This template is also going to be pre-built with new versus returning customers. So you can change the email to match the language. Let's head to create flow here. It's gonna create this template automatically, making it much easier for us to set up. And so if you haven't seen the flow editor on the left-hand side, you're gonna have your actions. So you can add additional emails, update different properties, or add different text messages, as well as different time delays or logic. We can see conditional logic already in this flow. So if a customer's placed order is equal to one, it's gonna show that they're a new customer. If it's not one, it means that they're a repeat customer, so you're gonna change the email. So the trigger is also gonna be automatically set up for a customer who has just placed an order. So let's now edit some of this logic here. First, I'm gonna change the thank you to within two hours after they placed an order. This will be much more relevant than rather waiting a day. So let's change this to two hours. I'll hit save. Now to note, if you wanna add any additional elements, you can just drag it from the left and add it in. So let's go and edit that first email if this is their first order. So you wanna click on the email, and then on the left-hand side, you can see edit. And then from there, we can edit the language as well as the email itself one. I want to take a moment to thank our sponsor, ProfitCalc, the one-click profit calculator available for your Shopify store. All you have to do is select the date range you're looking for to get real-time calculations so you can discover how profitable your store actually is. It's going to include a variety of different metrics and charts and get a clear understanding so you can make smarter business decisions. It's going to sync seamlessly with all your different ad accounts and plenty of cost of goods sold options. There's a 15-day free trial so you can test your drive everything for yourself and you can find it by searching profit calc in the shopify app store and looking for the logo in the top left there's also a link in the description below to access the listing directly so make sure you check that out maybe i'll change the subject line to personal thank you from the founder the preview text i'll maybe say something aligns like i just wanted to express my gratitude and to actually edit the email there is an email edit button right here we can also preview what it looks like between mobile and desktop. So if I click edit email here, I can see that some variables are going to be automatically filled out. I can see person.first name as well as the organization name. So this is going to be set up in Clavio here for the organization. And the first name is going to be automatically imported from the Shopify order data. So let's say I want to add an image here. I'll just head to Unsplash and I search Celebration. And so let's take these fireworks here and I'll go and download that to my computer. From there, I can go back here. And if I want to add a new element, I can go to the left-hand side and drag the image element over. Then from there, I can browse the image library. I'll go to Upload Image then hit attach. I'll just upload this image here. And I'm noticing that's a little large here. So let's head to edit in the left-hand side. And I've just hit crop and then I've cropped a certain section. And to save this, you just have to hit save and that should apply the update here. So it's probably a little small, so I'd maybe do some more editing here, but I think it serves this purpose for the email. Maybe I'll remove the title here. Actually, now that I do that, it doesn't look very great. So these email editing will just take some trial and error to get the look that you want. Now I'd probably add a little bit of text, maybe detailing why the Shopify store was founded and the mission of the company to add a little bit of attachment to the customer because this is going to be beside just their order information. This is to add a little more context and to help build that relationship with the customer. If you want to preview this on mobile here, you can see that as well. And once you're done, you can preview and test it to see your own inbox. And once you're satisfied, you can hit save and exit. So overall, that's how you edit the email there. And let's say I'm a store that wants to build a long-term relationship. I could set them to go to another flow here on exit, or I could just add additional emails here, getting different time delays as well and just build a longer sequence if you want to connect these together you can just drag this element to any of the elements here which i have just done so that once they're done here they'll just enter into another flow maybe i want to put the time delay below that so it's going to send them separate emails here and then once you're in it's going to create just a longer chain of emails this is obviously going to be dependent on how you want to set up your clavio flow but i have done this before just to save a little bit of time if you want to see the analytics for these flows as maybe on the third email you're sending a discount to the customer saying hey come back rather than using a customer win back campaign if you just want to include them in one email you can also show the analytics in the top right here to see things such as the open rate the click-through rate and how many people place an order through the email and sometimes Sometimes stores will also do an upsell after the email has been sent. Thank you for your purchase. We want to reward you with 10% off your next one. 
and people might come back immediately to repurchase something else that they were looking at. If you ever want to move any of these elements as well, they're very easy to drag. And once you're done, you hit update action statuses. Let's set this to live here and that will make this a live sequence. And this can be sent out to any customers now that have placed an order in your Shopify store. Before I go, I want to mention Profit Calc one more time, the one-click profit calculator available for your Shopify store. You can find it in the Shopify app store by searching profit calc and looking for this logo in the top left. There's also a link in the description below, both of which get you access to the 15 day free trial so you can test drive everything for yourself. So this concludes the video here on the customer thank you flow and how to set it up in Clavio. Hopefully this gave you an overall explanation. It is made much easier by Clavio's existing templates. If you enjoyed the video, I would love it so much if you hit that like and subscribe button below. If you have any questions, leave a comment. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in our next one.